With very rare exemptions, I have to tell you that I love clients asking complicated questions about Italian taxes in general. It's easy to agree on the fact that we have a web of regulations, national and international laws running at the same time that's not so often, I might say, conflict with each other. Few clients from the US are used to deal with the federal taxes and state taxes. It's been pretty surprising to me to hear that, so I had to flip the conversation for the first time and get into the logic of the IRS, the revenue agency in the United States. In Italy, we use something similar but less detailed. For once, I can confirm we did not make a mess with the law, if you know what I mean. When you file your taxes in Italy, you just complete one single tax return that estimates the tax bill at the end, like a workflow or a balance sheet. On the net amount, using all the tax credit possible, a percentage is applied to that amount. It goes on the progressive way if you're dealing with the personal income tax. Then it usually goes on the flat rate when it comes to regional tax and local tax. Then they go by the name of Addizionale Comunale and Addizionale Regionale. If you choose a substitute tax regime such as the flat rate for self-employed regime forfettario or the 7% for pensioners or the cedolare secca, just to name a couple, you don't have to deal with any local fee simply because those substitute rates are alternatives to IRPEF. Okay, now you may think this is a good deal to everyone. Well, I wouldn't say that. The national and local way gives you the opportunity to use foreign tax credit and deductions provided by the Italian law, for example. So if there is a way to minimize tax bases, no other option then. Conversely, if your old fiscal picture Taking a look at foreign assets and income too, okay, not just the Italian side, is not a good fit for the regime, then you have alternatives. So I'd rather suggest to work on a good estimate between a couple of tax regimes if it's possible. In other words, when you do the math, the percentage itself doesn't say that much. It's the basis multiplied for that that says a lot. 